So I thought I'd make a quick video on how you go about testing a MAF sensor with an OBD2 scan tool. And it doesn't need to be any high cost OBD2 scan tool. I'm just gonna use this little $30 scan tool to show you how you could quickly test the MAF sensor to see if it's any good. If you need a low cost scan tool, I'll put a link down below to this one. But basically the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna put the key into the on position. Then I'm going to go into Diagnose. And basically what you want to look for, you want to look for something that says Live Data or Data Stream. This one says Data Stream, so that's what I'm going to select. But a lot of them say Live Data. Whatever it says, that's the one you want to pick. So I'm going to pick Data Stream. But if yours says Live Data, pick that. And then you're going to scroll down, and you're going to find where it says Math Sensor. There'll be two. There'll be Math Sensor grams per second, and there'll also be one for the voltage. Just go to the grams per second one. Now the first test you could do, it's real quick and easy, with the key in the on position, but the engine's not running, is just look at it and see what it's reading. Right now there's no air flowing past that MAF sensor, so it shouldn't be reading something real high. It shouldn't be reading like two, three, five grams per second or something like that. It shouldn't be reading that. Now this is normal right here because it's a little bit of a windy day out there, so it's get, there's a little air breeze going on. But basically with the engine off, that should not be something crazy number going on on the MAF sensor on grams per second. If there is some crazy number or some kind of high number, and, and especially if it's not windy at all that day, then there's something wrong with that sensor. Now the second test you can do is what you can do is you can start it up. So I'm gonna start up the engine. I'm gonna let the engine idle and I'm just gonna watch what this is doing right now and what the range is. Right now it seems to be around 2.4. Okay, so now it's gone down to like 1.92, 1.90. So basically right around two, I guess I'd say. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna double the RPMs. So I'm so this is right below one right now, the RPMs on this. And so basically when I double the RPMs, this MAF sensor reading should also double. So I'm watching this MAF sensor reading. And now I'm gonna rev up the engine to roughly double. And I'm gonna come back to the grams per second on the MAF sensor. And yes, it is, it's basically doubling. And so basically this MAF sensor is good. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So basically all you do is you just let the engine idle for like two, three minutes, check what the reading is, then double your RPMs. And if the MAF sensor grams per second also double, then it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And so that's basically it. Those are two quick tests you could do with any OBD2 scan tool. Any low cost one's gonna work. They'll have live data or data stream inside of it. Just check the MAF sensor grams per second. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.